February 18th, 700 plus pounds, the all-time world record, will be going down for James Strickland. It's going to take place at Tiny Meeker's Meet in Houston, Texas. So you ought to, if you love bench press, you ought to come down there and support James. It's going to be huge. He is training right here at the um, Woodland Strength and Conditioning Center, a great powerlifting gym in the northern suburbs of Houston, lifting off by the legendary Texas powerlifter, Jeff Yonker. This is 590 pounds for a triple, a huge PR for James, even though he got slightly out of the groove there in the second one. Let's see if he can handle the third. Still nails a PR, no problem. I would say knowing James, if he got back in the groove, he has two reps left in the tank right there. So that's huge, huge PR. He is on his way to 700 pounds. So before, we've talked a little bit about the bench press having three phases. I just sort of came up with all this stuff a few years ago. It's not necessarily documented in textbooks, except my book, Bench Press of Science. But first is the initial acceleration phase where the, the weight is brought from a motionless position on the, um, to maximum speed. So you have the bottom motionless to maximum speed. Next is a constant speed phase where your goal is to maintain that maximum speed. Obviously, you want to go faster, but in reality, you're kind of maintaining it. And finally, is a deceleration phase where the weight starts to slow down to avoid hyperextension of the joint. Just think if the weight was really light. So to lift maximum weights, it's necessary to maintain the constant speed as long as, a, as long as possible. So this is very similar to 100 meter dash. After the initial 45 to 55 meters or five to six seconds, maximum velocity is reached. It then becomes a matter of how long this maximum speed can be sustained, which is usually about three seconds. This is referred to as speed endurance. Therefore, the principles that apply to the 100 meter dash are very similar to what we're talking about with the bench press. Uh, in sprinting, the deceleration phase sets in because of a lack of speed endurance and a transfer. Uh, um, so then in the bench press, speed endurance is not the issue. The issue is the antagonist muscle. The agonist or prime mover in the bench press lockout is the triceps. That muscle, that's, that's the muscle can either slow down so the muscle that can slow down or stop the movement is the antagonist muscle, which is the bicep in the bench press lockout. It's, the, it's a built-in protective mechanism to help you prevent hyperextension. Unfortunately, it peaks its, it peaks its um, ugly head just a little too early, which obviously is going to keep you safe, but it can hinder you from um, you know, hitting maximum weights. Um, so bands and chains and things like that can be helpful overcoming this, but of course... One of the most effective ways to do this is with bench press plyometrics. So after James hit the 590 for three sets of three, you saw him hit the, um, the plyometrics. So obviously it's gonna develop that explosive power. It's gonna fight that antagonist limiting factor. It's gonna build that initial speed. It's gonna build that, that acceleration the whole way through and sort of, comp, um, sort of not only slow down these limiting factors, but take you know his his speed out of the gate to a whole new level. So these are huge. Um, if if you're healthy, they can be very helpful. Okay, so after that, he did three sets of three. There went on to the speed bench press for three sets of three, 500 pounds there, and then on to dips. Okay, so the dips it was 200 pounds for two sets of five. Good range of motion there. Very easy for James, and this is a very good starting point. We always talk about, you know, as James's dips goes, so goes his a little break from him. They're back. Okay, now we're on a dumbbell pause. Floor fries, 15 reps for three sets for 55s. Getting a good pause at the bottom. And notice how he's doing a really good job here of not touching those dumbbells together. So what that does is, is let you keep maximum tension on the chest. So James is doing a real good job of intentionality here that we've talked about over and over again, putting that focus on his chest. So remember, this is not this is not a squeeze. I mean, this is not an press. This is not an extension. It's a squeeze with all intentionality focused on the, the pecs. And you got Jessica walking by right there. She's a, um, another legendary Texas powerlifter and owner of the Woodlands or co-owner of the Woodlands Strength and Conditioning. It's really cool. They have this awesome facility that gives a lot of great lifters and a chance to not um, be confined to the purgatory of a regular commercial gym. Okay. Boom. Good. James is doing an awesome job there. And we're going three sets of 15 
on these bad boys. And I'm, I'm very excited about the meet in Houston. For one, James isn't going to have to travel far. And for two, I think um, I've not been to one of Tiny Meeker's met, meets yet. But from what everybody says, they do a really good job of getting lifters fired up and stuff. It's not, you know, it's not just some, you know, brouhaha with a million people running around and you don't even know an announce or you don't know who's lifting or anything like this. All attention will be focused on the lifter. There'll be some great lifters there. I think there could be some other great raw bench presses there. And there may be some other great equipped lifters there. So here we have James under the wide grip lap pull downs. Um, his uh, back, James's back strength has come up immensely. Uh, obviously, that's why he, um, you know, the dude's built like a brick outhouse. There's just no way around it. And James is wearing the Tijuana Barbell Club shirt here. So if, if you guys want to help support what, our, what we're doing here and also just support um, physical culture as it was seen in, you know, an old time Mexico, just old school, heavy ass pig iron, get after it. I'll put a link in the bottom of the, I'll put a link in the description box in this video and you can purchase one there. They're available on Amazon. So now you didn't know what to do with that Amazon uh, gift card. Now, you know, good work, James strong back equals a strong man as the legendary Bill Kazmaier says, boom. So, uh, the, the, with the, uh, lap pull downs, um, this was uh, 230 pounds for uh, four sets of six, but unfortunately, it's not really it's not really a great reference point because all these pulley systems are different. So, you know, you go to one commercial gym, you can't do a lateral raise with you know 10 pounds on a cable, and the other one, you know, you do the whole stack of 150 for 50 reps. So it's just you know. But anyways, so we're getting good strict uh, rope pushdowns here. James is not having any tendonitis in his elbow right now, thankfully at all. But we're keeping it that way because obviously it would be awesome to, you know, do some heavy skull crushers or something. But, you know, everything's a risk to benefit ratio. And if look at look at the way those back arms are just uh, I mean, they're beautiful. Now, look at it. Look how developed they are. James is up to 300 pounds built like a silver back gorilla. I'd say it's 300 pounds of raw steel and sex appeal. But unfortunately, ladies, he's married. 